Good afternoon and welcome back to NASDAQ's coverage of Veterans Day. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. And we've met with Hiring Our Heroes and also Justin Constantine. And now we're going to turn it over and look at another couple of industry groups that are doing a lot for veterans. We're going to kick it off with Dan Rice, who's a president and co-founder of the Thayer Leader Development Group, and Doug Harward, who's a training industry CEO. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me on set. Thank you. Thanks for having for us. Your service. Uh, Dan, I'm going to kick it off with you. Tell us about Thayer Leader. Sure. We, uh, we founded the Thayer Leader Development Group at West Point in 2010 to bring military leadership principles to corporate America. So our faculty are all military veterans. Um, we have 18 staff members and 97 faculty members, um, all veterans uh, or fat staff at West Point. And we teach companies like Deloitte, uh, Procter & Gamble, 7-Eleven, uh, J.P. Morgan, um, we bring their executives into West Point. They get to see the beautiful, amazing campus of West Point. Um, they get exposed to military leadership principles, um, and we develop their leaders of character. All right, and if you could tell us about the training industry, Doug. So trainingindustry.com, uh, we operate under that brand, is a uh, market intelligence firm for the global corporate training marketplace, and we work with organizations just like Dan's and uh, to help them get their message out and help them uh, with how to go to market, that kind of thing, and help corporate buyers of corporate training to find companies just like Dan's. Right. Well, they certainly, companies are certainly looking for this specific skill set that veterans have, and that's not something you can learn in school. So I, I think it's a natural fit there. Absolutely. But um, tell us more about the programs and resources that are available through Thayer and then, of course, through um, the sure. training industry. Yes, thank you. Yeah, we have uh, programs globally. We, we've done programs uh, all around the world now. Um, about a third of our programs are held at West Point inside the historic Thayer Hotel. Um, it's a beautiful 151-bed hotel uh, right on the Hudson River on the campus of West Point. And we design programs specifically for each company coming through. So no matter what size group, we can design a program for that group. Programs range usually from one to four days. Uh, and, uh, and we deploy uh, our faculty around the world um, to customize programs for corporations. What's an example of uh, what they'd be looking for? Like, what are the common concerns or opportunities? Uh, for, for example, if, uh, if a company uh, just, just finished a merger and there might be trust issues as two companies come together and they're just getting to know each other. So we have faculty that are experts in trust. With One of our faculty members, uh, Colonel Pat Sweeney, he is a Ph.D. specifically in trust. And so we'll design a program around that very subject and then we'll take them through experiential activities where they get to reinforce the learnings um, then they'll have uh, a dinner with a keynote speaker to talk specifically about how those issues may have impacted their life. Um, and the whole program is designed really to achieve whatever objectives uh, a leader development uh, expert would want in that organization. Um, so we've had uh, incredible success with, uh, with some companies in virtually every industry, um, whether it's sports teams like the Knicks or the Reds or whether it's uh, uh, financial firms like J.P. Morgan, uh, Morgan Stanley, USAA. Um, so every industry, really, leadership is the theme, and, and that's what our focus is. All right, and Doug, I'll ask the same of you. What kind of resources are available through a training industry? Uh, trainingindustry.com provides access to companies who are providing the type of training that, uh, that Dan's organization does. So uh, really the top companies in the world come through trainingindustry.com just looking for the right kind of resources to get the training they need for their staff. And what we try to do is help put them in the, in the position to find the right kind of companies with the right skill sets that they need. All right. And why is it so important what we're doing here today at NASDAQ? Well, it's, it's so important, one, to honor our veterans, um, but it's also important to, to hire, support, train veterans. And so uh, the NASDAQ has been just a wonderful partner with us. And, and for us to do this every year, to, to ring the bell, to bring companies, we have 60 different companies coming together to raise, raise their hand to pledge to hire more veterans. Um, there's so many issues related to veterans employment, um, everything from how do you attract, recruit, train, hire, train, support spouses, um, support veterans with the GI Bill. There's a myriad of issues and if companies embrace this, they can just do so much better and it's really in their self-interest to hire veterans because they have leadership experience, they have incredible, they're, they're usually much more mature than, than others of their comparable age. Um, and so. Companies that have embraced veterans hiring have found that they're better companies for it. Yeah, all right. Well, thank you very much for joining us at Market Site, and thank Our you for pleasure. everything that you thank do you so much. for veterans. And thank you for checking us out. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.